You checking it out? You know, sometimes I just like to look at the pictures. I only make things that have the pictures. For some reason, I don't have the capacity to read the text and make Same. Pictures. Same. Yeah. Yep. Uh, listen, a new you in 2022 continues today with the simple vegan swaps for some of the favorite foods out there. Here to share those with us is author of The Korean Vegan and social media star, Joanne Lee Molinaro. Hey, well, guys. good to see you, superstar. The book looks- oh, it's good to see you guys. <laughs> The, the book looks beautiful. So should we start with breakfast? Does that make sense? I think that makes perfect sense. So one of the things that I think is very popular for breakfast, of course, is an egg dish like an omelet. This is a traditional omelet, but you can switch this out for scrambled tofu, which a couple of things. I love that. Zero cholesterol. And it has almost two times as much protein as two eggs that would go into your omelet. Doesn't it look delicious? Mm. You know, I, 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 I don't really love eggs, but I love tofu. So that is something I will definitely try. It's amazing. And you can actually add a little bit of hot sauce, just like you would your eggs to make it extra mm. spicy. What about lunch right. and dinner? Okay, so lunchtime for me, I'm a sandwich gal. I love a good sando. And so for me, the quandary is always like the sneaky calories that kind of add into your sandwich. And one of the sneakiest, of course, are your condiments. It's your, uh, you know, full fat mayonnaise. And what you can switch out for that, of course, a friend from our Mediterranean diet is hummus. One of the great Loving things about it. hummus is it's just as creamy, and it's got a ton of fiber. It's got protein. It's got all these things that are going to make you fuller, faster, and longer, and you're not going to miss the unctuousness of that mayo. So that is a perfect replacement for your mayo. I've got to ask you a question. You know, Kelly always, if you ever go out to dinner with her, she always orders a burger for the table. And you have a swap <laughs> this time around, don't you? I love this swap. And I know you guys like this swap too. <laughs> this is my black bean burger and it is mm. fantastic. You have your regular burger here, but your black bean burger is going to have protein, but it's also going to have zero cholesterol and it's going to have a ton more fiber, which is again, the key to making you feel fuller, faster, and longer. So you're not going back for your second burger, right? And look at how gorgeous this looks. It's just as satisfying. It mm. really, and I, you know, there's so many great health benefits, particularly for women who have a high fiber diet. Like it reduces the risk of just about everything. Absolutely. Women. It reduces the risk of diabetes. It helps you live longer. And again, for me, it's always like, what's going to help me not go back for second helpings, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So All what right. about the slaws? You, you have a, a sub for coleslaw, right? Yeah. So who Ooh. doesn't love a perfect coleslaw to go as a side to your burger or to your picnic. And I'm, I'm not I'm not saying coleslaw isn't great, but it is filled with, again, a ton of mayo, which has a lot of cholesterol and fat, as well as refined sugar. So one of the things that I like to do is replace that with this gorgeous, absolutely mm. stunning and crunchy mustard slaw. So you're cutting out, again, all the cholesterol, and you've got these gorgeous colors, which for you is a signal that these are antioxidant rich. It's a cancer fighting slaw over here. I actually add it inside of my burger as well as having it on the side. Is that a pretzel Yum. bun? Yes, it is a pretzel bun. And wouldn't you believe it? Pretzel buns can be vegan, which is <laughs> pretty awesome. <laughs> They're the best. Awesome. <laughs> All I mean, right. I got to tell you, I am. I, what about dessert? Because Ryan, if you know Ryan, Ryan is all about sugar and dessert. He likes a sweet. Yeah, yeah. So I like to stick savoring and get right to the dessert. I don't think that uh, a meal is complete <laughs> without dessert. And one of the biggest life hacks in my life has been take what you eat for breakfast 
and turn it into dessert because let's face it, a muffin is basically a dressed up cupcake. So I'm sort of using the same concept here. I have an overnight oats parfait, which is what something my hubby designed for our breakfast every morning. And it's got a ton of protein. It's got a ton of fiber. Look at these gorgeous colors and the berries. That's where you get mm. your cancer fighting antioxidants. And the best part again is in contrast to your, you know, lovely looking ice cream sundae, this is not going to have you going back for that third or fourth scoop. This is going to be satisfying and a perfect way to end your day. Okay, mm. what about a swap for mac and cheese? You have one of those? Okay. Yeah, mac and cheese is like quintessential comfort food, and I got you covered, Ryan, okay? So here we have your standard mac and cheese, and over here we have butternut squash pasta. And the reason this is so good is unlike the mac and cheese, You've got the antioxidants, the color in the butternut squash, as well as the fiber. So again, this is gonna get you really, really satisfied and full much faster and for longer. So again, you're not going back for third or fourth helpings, which I definitely would for mac and cheese. Oh my gosh, Matt, it's like a, I'm a bottomless pit. I, I would eat <laughs> the vegan mac and cheese and then go have the regular mac and cheese. That's okay. I mean, every once in a while you got to indulge, right, Kelly? That's true. Yeah. What about potato or egg salad? Because Gelman, that's his favorite. That's he likes his anything thing. That it's makes, his wheelhouse. Anything that makes him smell yes. bad. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if this is going to make you smell bad, but it does have a ton of garlic, if that's what we're going mm. for. I love garlic. I like Garlic is totally vegan, of course. So this is your regular uh, potato salad, but look at the contrast in colors that we have here for our sweet potato salad. And again, you're gonna know that this colorful salad is gonna have more antioxidants. It's also gonna have fiber, which again, is something that I'm constantly going for. And the best part is there's zero cholesterol in the vegan version. And look at how mm. scrummy this looks. I could eat this like by the, like, by the bowl. <laughs> I will Listen. say everything on everything that you prepared versus whatever the other option is, it, yours is so much more colorful and desirable looking. Yeah, color is something to always look for on your plate because it signals, again, the cancer-fighting antioxidants. So I always like to make my dishes and bowls as colorful as possible. Joanne, mm. I just want to say as a fellow vegan purist, thank you yes. for coming on to help influence Kelly here with some of these swaps. <laughs> uh, for a full list of today's swaps and Joanne's vegan recipes, go to our website, kellyandryan.com. He's about Thanks to have a meatball. I just want you to know there is a meatball <laughs> made with real meat just sitting off camera somewhere. I can hear it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryan. The secret is out. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming on. You take care. We'll be right back. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>